What's behind the yellow sign? RV tips, tricks, and trade secrets for the RV traveler from Mark Pope with RV Education 101. Hi, and welcome to our RV preventive maintenance video series. Today's topic is RV holding tanks. Preventive maintenance on RV holding tanks is not only about how to care and maintain for the tanks, it's also about properly using the tanks, primarily the black water holding tank. If everyone camping in the RV understands how to properly use the black water tank, it contributes to maintaining the holding tanks. Let's start with properly using the black water holding tank. The toilet in your RV works differently than a toilet in your home. An RV toilet does not have a water storage tank to assist in flushing the toilet. So, the first thing campers need to understand is to always have water in the RV toilet bowl when you use the toilet. The water in the bowl will assist in flushing the toilet into the black water holding tank. I always say the more water the better. There always needs to be enough water in the tank to cover the contents and help the holding tank treatment break the contents down. The water also helps control holding tank odors. Next, you should always use toilet paper specifically designed for use in RVs. RV toilet paper breaks down quickly, which is beneficial to emptying the holding tank. Never flush any personal hygiene items down the RV toilet. It can contribute to a clogged holding tank and difficulty in emptying the tank. When you empty the holding tanks, the tank should be full or close to full. This helps in completely emptying the tank. Always dump the black water tank first, followed by the gray water tank. This helps rinse and clean the sewer hose. After you empty the black water holding tank, it should be thoroughly flushed. If your RV does not have a built-in holding tank flush system, tank wands or a reverse flush valve will assist in cleaning and flushing both the black and gray water holding tanks. I use a clear see-through sewer adapter so I can tell when the tank is really clean. After emptying and flushing the black water tank, add several gallons of water to the empty holding tank. The key is to completely cover the bottom of the tank with water. It might take two toilet bowls full or four toilet bowls full depending on the tank size. Next, treat the tank with a holding tank treatment. There are all kinds of tank treatments, so try different brands until you find one you like. The amount of the treatment is again dependent on the size of the holding tank. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. The black water tank is clean and ready for use again. Now let's briefly discuss preventive maintenance for the gray water holding tank. The gray water holding tank collects dirty water from the sinks and shower or tub. Never put garbage or anything else down the sink drains that can contribute to clogging the tank. When you empty the tanks, always empty the black water holding tank first, followed by the gray water tank. After the gray water tank is empty, I like to add some dishwashing liquid or a treatment designed for gray tank maintenance down the sink drains, followed by enough water to get the soap or treatment into the tank. This soap and water will help break down grease and residue build up in and on the sides of the tank, especially while you drive or tow the RV. It's also a good idea to find and use a holding tank treatment that contains valve lubricants to keep the holding tank valves operating properly and extend the valve seal's life. Well, there you have it. Some simple preventive maintenance goes a long way to extending the life of your RV holding tanks. To learn more about using and maintaining your RV, take a minute to visit rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping.